Chapter 9 Samuel Smith was a practical man. He didn't see the point of worrying about the past. Better to think about the future. His house might have been smashed to pieces and his hard-earning savings stolen by a gang of thieves, but he didn't waste his energy weeping, cursing or complaining. Instead, he cleared the debris out of the cottage, dividing the family's possession into two piles. What could be repaired and what couldn't? Then walked into the woods with an axe that he'd borrowed from one of the villagers and chopped down several trees. Pip worked alongside him, sorting the damp wood into piles and carrying armfuls of timber back to the cottage. Over the next few days, they would build new furniture for the family and a new workshop for the smithy. When they paused for a rest, Pip said, we should go to London. Why? To get revenge. Samuel shook his head. I've already lost my money. I don't want to lose my life too. Pip knew there was no point arguing. Samuel was far too scared to take revenge on his enemies. Not like my father, thought Pip. That's not what he would have done. Since the robbery, no one had mentioned George Stone or discussed what the weasel had said. Pip wanted to quiz his mother, but she always seemed to be too busy hurrying away whenever he tried to talk to her. And he couldn't bring himself to raise the subject with his stepfather. Talking to Samuel about George just didn't feel right. Had the weasel been telling the truth? If so, Pip's mother had lied to him, not just once either, again and again, hundreds of times. If George Stone was still alive, then she had been lying every day for the past five years. The whole thing must have been a trick to get my father out of the house and bring Samuel in. Or had the weasel been lying? Was George Stone dead? Just as his mother said, There was only one way for Pip to find out, not by talking to his mother, nor by quizzing his stepfather. Whatever they told him, he wouldn't believe. No, he had to discover the truth for himself. He had to go to London.